Hello and welcome along and welcome back to Fenton Forest. Uh, today our aim is to be planting some cotton. We want to get cotton in field two. Uh, but to start off here, what we're doing is uh, just finishing off the canola. And we've popped up to the shop as well. And we've grabbed this huge Great Plains uh, cedar. Uh, this, this actually is amazing. This will plant everything this this does cotton this does wheat this does barley so this is replacing our current cedar so we've sold off our current cedar uh and uh and we're gonna so we've got two things basically happening at the moment we've got the uh field one uh we've got the remains of the canola field two we're getting the cotton in now, our Great Plains Cedar is not a direct cedar, so that's why we've got the cultivator started here. We're going to go and put some jewels on this as well. I think it's such a huge cedar, uh, we need a, a bit of a chunky setup on our tractor. So on our ATAR here, uh, we've now got jewels, so that's all set up. All of our animals are doing okay, um, but they all need cleaning out, so we'll do that quickly while we let the cultivator get ahead. And we had a little bit of problems getting all of the stuff in there. I think that that must be full. The silage must be full on the cows. Uh, so uh, we can probably get that to go in. Pigs all done. Yeah, let's get this. We'll just get and hold this last little bit of silage. Park this up. And back to the canola. And our combine again is... Our combine here keeps stopping in the, uh, in the crop. Which is very annoying. But it is almost there. So we're going to empty this out into our lorry and we need to actually uncover that first. There we go. I think, yeah, so that has got far enough ahead of that now. So we're putting cotton in here. Uh, the other thing we want to do today actually is we've got now got 295,000. I really want to sell enough stuff to get ourselves a cotton harvester ready for this. Uh, so I mean, getting, getting this cotton in the ground, uh, if we next go and sell some stuff uh, we've got plenty of wheat we've got plenty of uh, soybeans we've got plenty of canola that we can sell so we're gonna go and we're gonna go and sell those once we've got all of this equipment freed up so with the combine empty let's drop the header off and go and put the combine away There we go, and with that done, we need to go and do the same with the overloader and the 8RT. So we'll go and park this uh, our overloader in that shed and our 8RT here. Uh, and then we can take on our Great Plains again and look for the best price for wheat. So we'll tip out this canola, put that into our silo, ready for later. And load this up with some wheat. And I think the best price we found was the East Grain Elevator for this. So we'll head off to the other side of the map. Right over the other side of the map. And uh, what we can do is we can then sell this off. This uh, wheat isn't worth an awful lot. I think it's 600, uh, 600 pounds per litre is what we're selling at. Which is not a huge amount. Uh, but we'll bring us in, so that brought us in 44,000-ish uh, in total, which is good. We are now up to 339,182, uh, which, uh, which is actually a good start. I'm happy with that. Uh, next up, we're going to... Oh, yeah, let's get, this, uh, let's get the cultivator out of the way, and that way the cedar can finish doing what it's doing. And that's then our seven are freed up for this um now last time uh you guys might remember that i had trouble finding where the manure fill point was uh after the stream uh after the stream and after the uh after i actually recorded the voiceover uh for the last time that i found it and it is yeah it was exactly the same place it was in the uh, same place as you buy slurry and uh and digestate uh which was great uh, so we're now getting the ATRT uh, out on the cultivator. The reason for that, of course, is because uh, the seven R is now taken up doing muck spreading. Uh, but we have to fill up often, so we need to get the muck spreader a bit ahead. And while that's doing that, 
Uh, we're going to fill up our New Holland sprayer here uh, and just go and get the cotton spray. Get nicely ahead on the fertilizer of that. Then we don't have to worry about it. We're filling up the manure an awful lot. But the great thing about the manure is it's nice and cheap. It's Again, it's it's only £600 per uh, thousand litres. So it's... Uh, yeah, it's quite cool in that, in that it's... Oh, actually, no, it's only 600 per entire um, per entire spreader form. So, you know, we, we've made so much on our wheat that it's, this isn't making a dent doing this. And this is why I like using the natural man, uh, manures and, and natural fertilizer, especially when they have a refill point like this, because it just, it's just so much cheaper than using uh, the fertilizer. Although, having said that, we do have a lot of fertilizer hanging around. So, we are going to have to do some uh, some solid fertilizer. I think what we might do is solid fertilize this field uh, once we are, once we planted it. Uh, because that way, we'll be able to use some of our, the solid fertilizer up that we've got hanging around and uh, and get that done. And it means that when, when we bring the sprayer onto here, then it will be as a herbicide instead of actually as uh, as spraying it twice and i like to i'd like to do a little bit of variety like that i like to have things um that are a little bit uh you know uh, not using all the same equipment all the time so a little bit of your left we're not going to make it to the end of this row with this there's not quite enough there so we've got one more fill up to do and then that will be this done there we go all filled up up to the end and get a little bit done there we go so that is the manure done the HRT is doing a fine job there with the cultivator we may actually be able to do a little bit of uh, seeding and then we have sunflowers in this field let's get the sprayer out of the way first there we go and away we go so uh, yeah, so we're putting some flowers in here. Uh, again, it's a crop we haven't done on this map yet. Uh, so quite happy to, to add a little bit of variety in there and get that going. I do like the look of this ATAR, uh, ATAR on the front of this cedar. Uh, it looks really cool with those chunky jewels on it and, uh, and, and works really nicely. And we're catching, we're catching the ATRT up rather quickly here. And then we'll uh, we'll get to the end of the next row, and we'll let that head off again. Uh, what we'll go and do is we'll go and sell off some. We're going to sell off some canola, I think. I think we've got a fair amount of that, uh, and that will bring in a decent amount of cash. So leave that there. Fill us up with some canola, and then this wants to head over. Just above the shop, um, Fenton Mill is where this wants to go to. So yeah, past the shop, up around the side here, and there we go. Our flushing green beacon showing us exactly exactly where we want to unload this. There we are. We'll get our lorry back to the farm, and uh, I think we have, I think we might have a good load of soybeans as well. So if we can sell our soybeans again, soybeans are a high value. There we go, fifty-eight thousand. So we sell off all our soybeans. Yeah, ninety-seven percent full on our trailer. Uh, oh, where do we need to take these? Well, I don't think we want to take them to the same place. Our best bet is, I think, it's up the top. Yeah, we're heading up the top. I'm not quite sure what the name of this one was, but uh, but yeah, back to place to go. Now, if we head back this way, I think actually this is a bit of a long way back. So time for a little bit of a map tour as we uh, try and figure out exactly how we get back. I should know this road network pretty well by now, seeing as it's a uh, it's a copy of the Felsbrunn 
uh, one, but it's even even then it's it still looks different. Most of it looks different, and I'm using bits of the map that that I never used in Felsman. So it's yeah, it's it's quite. Uh, I I still get lost in these roads, and I'm still amazed at how um, how good this map is based on uh, based on Felsman. How different it looks. There are only a couple of places. As I said many times before, there's only a couple of places where I kind of go, oh wow, that looks that looks like the map it's based off. Otherwise, it's just such a wonderful rebuild that, uh, that Stevie did on this map. So we are about two thirds to three quarters of the way through the field at this point. We are again catching the ATRT up. I think when we get to the end of this field, or near the end of this field, in fact, the end of this row, uh, we're going to have to wait for the ATRT to catch up a little bit. Let it get ahead again. That does mean the two tractors should finish the field together, basically, when we are when we are at the end of it. So let that turn around uh, as we head back down and again we'll wait at the end of this row uh, let the ATRT catch up and then we can just put in the last row of sunflowers and we have a good level on that of seeds left and then we're going to be so this holds basically enough seeds for us to do both fields that's really cool I'm so pleased that we've, we've got just enough seeds left in this uh, to finish this off there we go. right we're gonna move the ATRT out of the way and then we're on to the final row and with that all that remains is for me to say a thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos and live streams from virtual farmer please subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time. Goodbye.